this venue. I love Dominican University. It's so great to be back. And I want to thank Richard Stone for introducing me. And also, Richard, thank you for co-sponsoring this uh, speaker series. Um, I, I also uh, want to acknowledge uh, the president of Dominican University, Mary Marcy, who has uh, uh, done a terrific job and hosted uh, me at her home, uh, the Borowski House. And by the way, uh, let me acknowledge the chairman of the board of Dominican University, Andy Borowski, who is a friend and, and neighbor of mine, actually. And for the days that I'm in San Francisco, I live in Nashville, Tennessee but I'm out in San Francisco quite a bit. I want to thank uh, the faculty and staff and students uh, at Dominican University. Uh, I, I want to thank Dr. Denise Lucy, the Institute Director who spoke uh, uh, earlier. And ladies and gentlemen, uh, I want to thank my, my dear friend, uh, Elaine Petricelli, who is uh, the head of uh, Book Passage and Let's support independent local bookstores. <laughs> Elaine and her wonderful team have uh, hosted two of my daughters who wrote books and have been out here. And I just think of Marin County as the epicenter of the rebellion. <laughs> Star Wars metaphor for some reason. <laughs> Pick it up right away. <clears throat> it's great to be back here, and it's been such a privilege to, to come here several times. And I, I feel as passionately about this book as any book I have ever written. I commend it to you. Uh, when I was uh, at President Marcy's uh, home with my partner in life, Liz Cable. We were up there having a, a wonderful reception and we had a nice dinner. But before that, we had an assembly line set up uh, in the back of the house where I have signed books <laughs> for everybody. And the ink is barely dry on them. Uh, first of all, let me say, this book began uh, eight years ago when I was making a speech in Europe and at a conference where someone asked me the question, what are the drivers of global change? And I gave an answer that I thought was adequate and truth to tell, I thought it was more than adequate. <laughs> but, but when I got on the plane to fly back to the United States, <clears throat> that question kind of nagged at me a little bit, and I took out my computer and started uh, making an outline, and for six hours I continued to move things around, and when I got back home, I kept on working on it, and I kept collecting string, so to speak, and I found uh, soon thereafter that uh, this outline had some value in the real world. Here's what I mean by that. Um, Dominican, by the way, has a green MBA program. I, I, uh, I co-founded an investment business called Generation Investment Management that uh, with my partner, David Blood, uh, by the way, I wanted to name it Blood and Gore. <laughs> <laughs> my 